Good morning. This is Betty, Fancy Grandma. I'm going to make you another video. I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for lunch today. I'm going to fix asparagus. I'm not really fond of vegetables, but I like to cover the taste up. And anyway, what I'm going to do, all that has been washed. I always wash everything ahead of time. So I've got a skillet here. I'm going to put probably about two tablespoons of butter in it. Let it get warm. Turn it on. I'm going to cut a little bit of bell pepper up. I don't like a lot. I just like a little. So I'm fixing me a little bit of bell pepper here. I'm using red because I like the red ones better than the green ones. I don't think I need two knives. Anyway, this is going to be a red one. Put that in there. I've got mushrooms. I've done washed every one of these, cleaned them so they're all clean. I slice some mushrooms up. Put them in there. You can put anything you like in it. I'm just fixing what I like. Like I told you before, you can put in, but you can't. You can add, but you can't take away. So always make sure you like what you put in before you put it in. But I like all these vegetables here pretty well. Let's stick three mushrooms in. Okay, there's my mushrooms. Get me a spoon, kind of get this thrown around here so the butter will start melting. But I think you'll really like this because it's really good. actually good for you. And I'm going to cut some onion up because I want a little bit of onion in it. Not much because I don't like a lot of onion. Put that in there. Get that frying. starts getting hard, don't eat them because they're not good when they're tough. Put that in there. Mm, it smells good. I'll turn my burner down a little tiny bit. Put some salt. You can put garlic and put it kind of seasoning you want it, but I just eat salt and pepper in mine. That's what I like. But you can add any anything you want to it. If you want a different type of vegetable, you can add a different vegetable to it. But this is all I'm wanting. So I'm going to cook that down until it kind of gets it softened. So I don't like them until they're cooked. you'll really like this because it is really, really good. But anyway, when you get your vegetables, wash them as soon as you get them. What I did, I washed my asparagus, wrapped it with a paper towel and stuck it down in this little plastic bag and you kind of left it so it can get a little bit of air so it won't rot. But that's why I do my asparagus and my peppers I just take out and lay in the refrigerator until I need them. And the onion, keep my onion band. Anyway, this will soon be delicious, delicious, delicious.
you wanted to, you could even add, add ham herbs and cook bacon to this would be good. See how good that looks? Can you see that? It looks delicious. That way you can eat your vegetables and they're good for you. And it kind of covers the taste. Like I said, I don't really like asparagus that much, but it's good for you. So that's why I'm eating it. So anyway, I'm going to turn it off. I think it's done enough. I got my bowl and pour it in my bowl. I think I want a bigger, deeper bowl. You can cook it longer if you want to cook a little longer. good that looks? Take a bite of it and see how it tastes. Mmm, that's delicious. So, so good. You have a blessed day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I make a new one. Bye!